Hello everyone, welcome back to Coding Range. Today we are continuing our daily bytes. Today's problem is asked by Amazon. So it is vacuum cleaner root. Given a string representing the sequence of moves a robot vacuum makes, return whether or not it will return to its original position. The string will only contain left, right, up and down characters or L R U D representing left, right, up and down respectively. So we have an example which is left and right, which returns true. Why? Because if we go one unit left and one unit right, that means we are where we started. So uh, in order to solve this, we can create here, uh, let's call it robot. Cleaner dot pi. Uh, we won't use any modules. We will just use maybe for loops, maybe if and else. We will see. So first of all, we need a function. So let's say is at origin. which will have um, moves and then what we can do okay we can do it like that we can create our own let's say coordinates so if a robot moves it moves left and right up and down so it's horizontal vertical movement so we can have two variables representing these moves horizontal will be zero and then vertical will be zero so let's do it like that we have to go through every character of moves which will be a string like lr we have to go through all of them and check every move and then add to horizontal and vertical and, and see how does robot move so in order to do that we use for move in moves if let's say uh, if our move is L like left we will add horizontal minus equals one that means we will subtract subtract one from the horizontal move horizontal coordinate else if or elif move is right we will have horizontal plus equals oops one So if, if the robot moves to the left, horizontal, our robot will move one unit in the horizontal direction. And if it goes to the right, it will go like plus one to the horizontal. Let's do this for vertical also is up. If it is up, then vertical will be plus equals one. If movies down, then vertical will be minus one. Okay, that should do it. Then, uh, what do we have to do? As as we said, in order to know if it is at the origin, that means the our origin is zero zero. In the coordinate system, we are standing at the zero zero. So now we have to check after these moves where the robot will be or more specifically will the robot be at the zero zero so we can do it by simple horizontal comparison to zero and vertical comparison to zero. so we just check if horizontal ends up being zero after all the moves and at the same time vertical 
ends up being zero, that means the robot has returned to its origin. Uh, so let's let's have the test cases here. Copy inputs. We don't need these. We don't need that. We don't need this. We don't need this. Okay, we have our inputs and let's try for input in inputs. We will print is at origin input. Okay, let's try. Okay. Syntax warning. Did you mean... Okay, let's make this... Sorry, this is my fault. It had to be comparison. So, <laughs> I use is, which is... I was talking and using using English, so it's my fault. Sorry. Now, as as we can see, for the left and right movement, we get true. That means user uh, the robot has returned to its origin, which is zero zero vertical and horizontal. The next one was up, right, up, right, and down, which is not the origin, so we get false. And the next one is right, up, up left left down right down which ends up being at the zero zero which is true so we didn't use any specific modules here it was just simple for loop and if else or even if elif let's say we don't use else and uh, that's it and simple comparisons so this was it for today see you tomorrow if you want to keep up with the videos, please leave a like, subscribe to our channel, it means a lot. Thank you so much, see you soon.